just makes you want to like bring a chair and a book and just read. So we are on now beautiful and famous Seven Lakes Drive here in Orange County, New York. It's not too crowded the second, which is beautiful. Got an open road, cruising along. I'm feeling a nice breeze. I love this road in the fall when the leaves change color. Beautiful, just beautiful. So we're about 13 miles from Bear Mountain. So there's a funny story I have to tell you about Bear Mountain. One, I've been there a couple of times on my bike and the car. It's a beautiful place to go with the family, go hiking, picnic areas. Every time I've gone there, I cannot find the main entrance inside the park. I find this one road that goes through the park, but I can't find where all the you know, people go, where all the picnic areas are, the parking. It's like a mystery to me. Um, so, maybe today will be different. I have an idea where I keep going wrong. And so hopefully we'll see it. Uh, next time I check in, will be from Bear Mountain, hopefully, hopefully. And uh, we can check it out together, right? How that, that'd be cool. 80 degree day. I was able to get out on this nice ride. The wife was good to me because I took my daughter to her morning activities, freed my wife up to do some things around the house, go to the fruit market herself. I went food shopping and she's like, you know what? Look at that beautiful river. She goes, go out for a ride. Take advantage of this weather. And I said, I love you. Thank you. Right? If we can't take advantage of this weather, what are we doing? This is why I ride. This is why I ride. All right, here I am. I'm first stop on this beautiful day. It's 80 degrees here in Jersey. Uh, I'm on my way through right now. This is Harriman State Park. I'm on Seven Lakes Drive at my favorite little rest stop. This place right here is where I stopped to pee for the first time on this trip because um, you never know when the next one's coming. So I gotta get fresh now. And uh, I'm gonna head down a famous road. This road right here is called Seven Lakes Drive. Beautiful road, twisties, has some beautiful lakes in it. I'll show you some footage on my way to Bear Mountain. Uh, we're gonna stop at Bear Mountain, maybe find a bathroom there. And then we're gonna head up to Newburgh Brewing Company. Wanna check it out, maybe pick up some uh, New York State craft brew. Bring it home for a barbecue later and uh, we'll check it out, right? We're gonna be coming up on uh, beautiful lakes here. I guess this is why they call it Seven Lakes Drive. I think I've seen three of the lakes in my lifetime. 12, mountain, 12 miles from Bear Mountain. All right, all right. That's why I feel lucky to live where I live because I'm not far from all this nice riding. Upstate New York, I'm still exploring. Remember, I'm only riding a couple of years. So I'm still exploring everything that Upstate has to offer. I wanna check out the Poconos, the Catskills, becoming more familiar with different routes. So I have a beautiful choice of places to ride when I get days like this. The breeze feels great. I mean, of course I wish, you know, if I wore a half helmet, right? I could, it would be beautiful, but uh, not doing it, not worth the risk. But the air in your face does feel good. I get it why people love the half helmets. Coming up on a lake, Seven Lakes Drive. I see a road 
Pulling up, Uber, black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some needles to the face, baby I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything Thing just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby came here to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine Here's another lake, got a good view Just check this out. Beautiful. Right? Just beautiful. Oh. Just makes you want to like bring a chair and a book and just read. Chillax. Love it. I love scenery like this. It's so just like relaxing for me. You know, it's like get away. Oh look, the moon! Do you see the moon? My wife, who's Italian, she always says, it's the moon. It brings the woman to the man. What movie is that from? Put it in the comments below and you'll win, I don't know, you'll win something for me one day. All right, we're about a mile from Bear Mountain. Let's see what happens. I'm following the signs. You're following the signs with me. Here we go. All right, Bear Mountain to the right. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Oh, what do we have here? Closed. Closed. It's closed. Oh, no. Well, well, that's a bummer. Why is it closed? Oh, big bummer. Now what are we gonna do? Let's go to Route 218 and Storm King. You never know what's gonna happen. You gotta be flexible. You gotta adapt. Here we go. All right, so I'm following signs for 218, which is Storm King. This is not Storm King yet. But we're close. I'm following signs. I could, I could have probably taken a more direct route, but my GPS... Uh, well, actually, it wasn't a GPS. I was following the actual signs on the road that said 218. So I guess we're just taking the scenic route through town behind slow vehicles. It's okay, though. I'm out. I'm riding. I'm enjoying the day. That's what matters, folks. Bear Mountain. So I didn't catch this on camera. But I found another entrance to Bear Mountain. Holy crap. It was backed up like an old man's toilet. I swear. And so I wasn't sitting in that just to go into there. You got to get in there early in the morning if you want to explore. So I'm, uh, I'm not doing that, right? I'm not doing that. We're actually uh, right by West Point Naval Academy. Well, it's not a Naval Academy. It's an academy. Uh, is it the naval? Oh shit, now I don't know. 
All right, well, when I go back, I'll Google it and I'll put the right answer on the video. But we're right by West Point. One day I'll drive, check that out a little bit more. It's a pretty cool place, I think. Did I mention how nice it is outside? Woo, beautiful day. Little, it's like 82. I don't want to complain because I'm enjoying this so much, but a little, a little warm. I could do like five degrees cooler. Ooh, the breeze feels nice. Loving it. Loving it. West Point Golf Course. Oh, West Point Golf Course. How about that? Entrance to West Point. Ooh, look at it. Look at it. School's not in session. There we go. Probably have to have a pass to get in, you know what I mean? They don't let anybody in. We're a couple of miles from Newburgh Brewing Company. Very excited. I think I'll stop for a pint. Well, we'll see. I don't want to have to pee. Always thinking about the peeing. So I got to Newburgh Brewing Company. I was so excited. I came inside, wanted to do a little film, show you the view from inside. And then when I got back home after my ride, I realized for some reason the mic wasn't on or it wasn't working. I don't know what was going on. But I enjoyed a nice pint of their IPA and uh, had a good time. I'm definitely going to go back there. Love to go back maybe with some people. They have some good food you can have there too. And, you know, it's a great place uh, to stop by. Not that far from me, only about an hour or so. If you go right to it and I'll be back. So I just wanted to show you guys Newburg Brewing Company. Good place. All right, now we're on 32. I don't know what 32 is, but we're going to find out. Route 32. Just cruising, cruising along on this beautiful day. I am thoroughly enjoying my day today, riding. And just exploring upstate New York a little bit. Got some brews, custom craft brews. Having a great time, I really am. But you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about what would this be like on a Harley? Oh, the Lowrider ST. That's what I'm thinking about, everybody. The Lowrider ST. I don't know. And then I go back to the Road King. I tell you this. If I road test that Road King again, you know, from a dealer with a regular 114, not a Stage 2 like I had at the demo day, and the shifter is, you know, not 
too difficult like it was on the demo bike more like it was on the Lowrider ST and this bike meaning it's pretty easy to shift you don't have to like give it everything you got I would highly consider the Road King again too it's still between those two bikes I gotta say and the, and it's so funny the the recent thing I've been thinking about with the Lowrider ST is the radio you know like one day I'm like oh I don't need a radio I just want the elements uh, and listen to the pipes you know when I get pipes but then I think like on like right now if I had a lowrider ST with a Rockford Fosgate I would be pumping out some tunes and you could still hear the pipes you get some tunes and it just adds a whole nother level to the experience of the ride so I don't know I just don't know Help me out in the comments. Like, tell me what I should be thinking about. What should I be focusing on? Does it matter? I know at the end of the day, like, either bike, right? You really can't go wrong. Either bike is good. I got a while to think about it, though, that's for sure. Got a while to think about it. Saving up the bucks. The big buckaroos. But I yearn, ladies and gentlemen. I yearn. Have you ever yearned? Let me know in the comments. What have you yearned for? Have you gotten it? Are you working towards it? Where are you in your goal towards yearning? Yeah, we're going through Suffering, New York, and we're gonna end up going through Mawa and Ramapo, where Ramapo College is, or University. I, don't know, I always forget which one it is. And, uh, Then we're gonna take our little twisty road home. Just in time for dinner. Mom is making pizza. Oh, and I'm gonna have a calzone. Oh yeah. All this riding makes me hungry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Woo! I love this road when there's no traffic on it. A nice twisty road under a bridge oh I wish I had pipes wish I had some good pipes Ramapo College all right there we go it's Ramapo College that's my landmark we're about a half an hour away from home And gosh darn it, if I told you I had to pee, oh, for Christ's sakes, I can make it. I will make it. It is Rebel College entrance. Actually, I want to come up here with my wife and daughter. There's some good hiking up here, and I want to do some hiking. I just said this is a great road when there's no traffic, and then you get some slow cars. It's like, what's going on? All right, let's go. Whoa, here we go. Right here, Ramapo Valley Reservation. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you see that? That was caught on camera. Freaking A. Gotta pay attention, folks. Gotta pay attention. But now I'm in the lead. Yeah. Hopefully nobody in front of me. Woof. Love this road. Woo! Oh, I just scraped my boots. That car did not know where it was going. You know, just put your signal on. That's all. Is that too much to ask?
all right, just got home from my nice trip going up to Newburgh, New York. Newburgh Brewery, thank you very much. Got some brewskis, check it out right here. They're still cold. Can't wait to drink these. Um, had a great ride. I did, really enjoyed myself. Um, on the way back, the footage cut off. The battery died in my GoPro. I gotta figure out a better way to kind of record. I went through two batteries today. I gotta big, figure out a better way to record without the battery dying midstream. But uh, what are you gonna do, right? I got enough footage to make it worthwhile. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe the channel. Follow me on my journey, motorcycle riding and searching for the Harley Davidson for me. That's my dream. And like I said in the video, I yearn. See you next time, everybody.